What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, or as I like to call it, the greatest game ever made, which is funny, because I didn't technically grow up with this game. I was too young when this game originally came out. I grew up with games like Wind Waker and Rayman, Crash Bandicoot, stuff like that, but for some reason, this game, having played it later on the Game Boy, became one of my favorite games of all time and i don't know why but it is still one of my favorite games so i'm excited to play it and share it all with you guys i'll probably uh not skip through the dialogue because we got to soak up the lore and everything about this game so long ago in the beautiful kingdom of hyrule surrounded by mountains and forests Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the golden land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the golden power. That seal should have remained for all time. But when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, A mysterious wizard known as Aghanim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish. One after another. Flashing lights warning, by the way. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. That's where we come in. But of course, we're gonna leave the house. Got the lamp. I always play this game like once a year, I feel like. And every time I play it, I always like get a fuzzy feeling of nostalgia. Zelda is your 
destiny. Presumably. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed playing Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, but this is the game where you really start getting into the meat and potatoes of Zelda. Man, the music's so good. Pots, dude, the strongest weapon in Zelda. feel bad for all the soldiers that are under Aghanim's control because we just straight up annihilate them even though they don't really have a choice. I guess it's best not to think about that. We're saving Hyrule after all. Some sacrifices need to be made. I remember playing this and not really knowing how to read and didn't know that this was a secret up here. The ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside and you can't see without one. This is a super fun room to do without a lamp too and a randomizer. Just 
just realized I never got any magic. That's right. That's the plan. It's been a while since I played this game. Randomizer or just vanilla, so... I don't remember everything. But I used to be able to clear this... No lantern. I had the layout memorized, but I don't know if I could do that right now. Probably take me a couple practice runs. Oh, right. The rat drops the key. Just beyond the door, pull the switch over there. What switch, Zelda? Why don't you say? I guess we should talk to the old lady. I already know where he is.
Man, I should have got bombs first. What am I doing? Unoptimized run? Nah, that's fine. I think this is the kid who knows. Hiding a place past the castle, mark it on your map. Yep. Get some bombs. Hold anything bottles. Right, it's a hundred rubies. Like I said, on optimized run. Oh well. We're just here to have fun, relive nostalgia. We don't need to be optimized right now. Not speed running. I should do 100% run or not, or just play through and beat it. Probably just do 100% run because I don't think it'll take too much longer than at any percent, so. Goodbye, thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business. Thank you. 
I'm playing on just the normal um, US version of Link to the Past, but I considered playing on like the original Japanese version so I could do glitches, but I decided just to do a normal run. No glitches. Mostly because I can't remember most of them anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Like, there's a clip you could do down there called Fake Flippers. Where you, like, transition the screen as you fall into the water and you get flippers so you can get a bottle, but... Kinda cool. The ice rod. I like how there's kinda like a gathering phase in this game. Kinda like the first one, where you can, like, get a bunch of items before you even, like, hit up the first dungeon. Anyway, let's uh, do the old save and quit here. potion.
Nah, I just realized I could have did, did something else while we were in Kakariko Village, but it's fine. We'll do it later. All right, Dungeon One. actually have a dungeon map, like the first game. Except the map isn't duty. I tried to do the skeleton thing, but I don't remember how to do it. I usually spawns like five skeletons or something, but if you like walk a certain way, you only have to kill the one with the pot and then the door opens immediately. I wouldn't give to do like a blind 
playthrough of this game again. The introduction of big keys. these guys Damn. I tried getting the uh, switch through the iframes but it didn't work for whatever reason I should be playing like that or what but I just like it's hard to like fight habits you know Dude, the first boss of the game, the Armos Knights. I love this boss. Owie. Aww. Definitely rusty. We did it.
He's talking about the ice rod. Alright, let's, um... There's something I forgot in the forest. I don't think there's anything else over here we need right now. So I'm gonna save and quit. We'll go sanctuary. You heal? I got the Pegasus boots. We can be fast. Yeah, I forgot to grab this while I was over here. Actually, a couple things over here that I forgot to grab. Like this piece of heart. Oh, let's just get full arrows, I guess, while we're here. Now we're not. Let's see. Book. The Book of Medora. Read the ancient Hylian texts.
do another save and quit here and go give the mushroom to the witch. Yeah, sorry about the lack of commentary. Maybe you prefer that, I don't know, but I've been, I'm like in remember mode right now. Like I'm trying to remember everything. For some reason my brain doesn't want to think about what to say while I'm remembering. So. Sorry. Now we got potions. Trying to think if there's anything else we could grab. I think so. We got Pegasus boots now. Too, and probably ended there. He probably gives you a hint about the Book of Medora, but this link has already done this in a past life, so he knows where everything is. That's the lore. episode here or do I just make these super long episodes? I don't know. I guess we'll end it here. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the lack of commentary. I'm just 
reliving the nostalgia of Link to the Past and trying to remember everything. Because there is a lot of secrets in this game. But yeah, we'll see you next time. We'll finish Dungeon 2. And yeah. Take care.